Okay, um, what's up everybody? This is the first reaction video I've ever done before. Uh, really excited about it, actually. Um, by the way, my name is Jake Lures from a metal band called August Burns Red. And um, just to kind of give you the backstory as to how this all came about and why I'm doing this reaction video um, for a band called True Shot <clears throat> is August Burns Red is coming out with our new record called Guardians, April 3rd. And we released a single called Defender um, off that record. And that was our first single that we released. And um, so we're really excited about it and got overall a really good reaction and response from our fan base. And so I was on YouTube. We were looking, I was looking at the, um, the video that we uh, released for our single Defender. And I saw a bunch of these first reaction videos and I uh, never really looked into first reaction videos. I wasn't really sure what that was or what that meant, but I saw um, all these first reaction videos for this, for our single defender. So I, uh, I clicked on one and there was these two guys from a band called True Shot uh, that did a reaction video and they kind of mentioned that they were I think their guitarist was a fan of, of my band, August Burns Red, and um, they were very positive and very, like, um, you know, encouraging and, and just uh, really loved the track. And I thought that that was really awesome that they took the time out of their day to, you know, listen to my release of my single Defender and, you know, really, you know, talk about it and then edit everything and post it up on, on YouTube. And I thought that was super cool. And I'm just really thankful that August Burns Red has fans and people that support us and enjoy our music. So today, um, I reached out to them maybe a couple weeks ago and I said, hey, thank you so much. Um, I'd love to return the favor. So I'm gonna do my first reaction video to their single um, called Paradigm. Uh, they sent it to me and I haven't listened to it yet. Uh, all I was told was that I could shoot this on my <laughs> on my phone and I can um, have my headphones on and listen to their track. So <clears throat> um, here we go. I've got my coffee. I got my Bruins hat. Um, it's gorgeous outside. Let's take a listen to uh, True Shots uh, single coming out. I think it's March 13th and uh, it's called Paradigm. Here we go. It's pretty eerie. Little, little. Okay, okay, guys. Okay. Well, that's heavy, bro. Yo, I gotta turn this up. Okay, got a little range. Okay. It's eerie, dude. This is like... in here, dude. What's up with that? What?
something heavy, dude. If you want something heavy, you're gonna listen to True Shot. Oh, that fill right there? And the squeal? That's dope. Wow. That was impressive. That was just like full throttle, aggressive, eerie. I feel like uh, that's like a soundtrack to like a nightmare I've had in my, you know, in my sleep. Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, it was awesome. I think, <clears throat> um, let's see what, what really stands out the uh, immediately. I mean, the vocals for sure. The, the vocalist, me being a vocalist, I'm going to, I'm going to really obviously pay a lot of attention to that. Um, you know, dude's got great lows, great highs. I'm a fan of uh, diversity. I think it's important as a vocalist to stretch your, your voice and, and your range um, because then you're more capable to uh, convey your emotion or make an impact. Um, you know, I also see vocals as an instrument, not just uh, to be used for, for a message uh with lyrics, but also to kind of tie in with the vibe or the feeling of in the direction of the music. So I think the vocalist did a really good job of um, really keeping it diverse. Um, I love when vocalists in this genre of music go from like super high to super low. Uh, again, it's to me, that's impressive. And, and it shows that you are good at your craft and you know what you're doing. Um, I, I I think I think from first listen, I wasn't the, the the only thing as a as a vocalist to a vocalist, and this is just um, encouragement, right? Like um, it's not demeaning or belittling. Um, I would like to hear a little more uh, enunciation. Um, you know, being able to uh, pronounce and 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 have a little more definition um, with the the verbiage. Uh, so that I could really grasp onto it, uh, but there's so much, there was so much going on uh, musically too, that I wasn't necessarily trying to just focus on what he was saying. So, um, but that's something that I try to do a lot is really making sure that you know I'm I'm clear with uh, with the verbiage and the and the lyrics and the words. You can hear the s's and the you know the t's and um, and things like that. Just so. You know, people can can really just first listen and grab it, right? But um, vocalist is great, though. I mean, you know, this is just I'm just trying to encourage and help. Um, I love the eerie intro. I think that's cool. I I think it's really important for bands to try to you know really make their intros something special because um, it's the first thing that you're gonna hear uh, from the song, and it kind of separates that song from all the other songs, right? So if you have a strong intro, people go like, um, for example, my band, we have a song called Whitewash. And when we play the beginning of that song, the intro of that song live, everybody loses their 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 heads, man, because they, they, they know what song it is immediately, right? So that's cool that they have this, this kind of intro because it's definitely gonna separate this single from you know other other tracks on the album um it's at three minutes that's a good time you know we don't want i mean you can do whatever you want it's art you can write a song that's 20 minutes long or however long you want but um generally speaking you know the 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 time um span for listeners what's up winston the time span for win uh for listeners is usually you know three minutes to Four and a half. Uh, once you start getting over uh, five minutes, that's it's a pretty considered a lengthy song. And uh, you know, two and a half to three minutes is usually kind of I think maybe in the standard of mainstream music. Um, and so three oh nine is great, great time. Um, the drummer uh, definitely stood out to me uh, with some of his drum fills. 
Um, and, you know, I mean, this style of music isn't easy to play. It's, you know, uh, not everything's going to be in 4-4. It's not just, you know, um, you know, using the snare. It's like you're, 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 you know, drummers in this genre of music are using uh, all the symbols, all the, you know, crazy off-time signature, um, you know, um, patterns. And, you know, you've got your double bass, you've got your... Anyways, uh, I just thought he handled that well. Uh, it's a good song, man. It's it's heavy as crap. I mean, if you want something that is heavy and aggressive and eerie, uh, true true shots got what you want, man. So uh, that was cool. That was super cool. Check them out. True shot. Uh, they're heavy, and I hope that they. I don't know if they're assigned to a label or not, but uh, they should be. And uh, maybe we'll see them on the road and we'll share the stage one day. So. Anyways, have a good one. This is awesome. God bless you guys. Take care.